Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It's that time of the year when I bring to you Nykaa sale recommendations. Now, this is their Diwali sale recommendations. This video is not sponsored by Nykaa. I do these videos because you guys love watching them. And I took a community poll like always. I took an Instagram poll like always. And majority of you said that you wanted to see a video like this. This time around, I'm gonna be splitting the video in two parts. Part one, which is going live today, I'm gonna to be giving you my product recommendations. These products either came to me in PR or majority of them I even bought. And I'm gonna be talking about skincare, hair care, and makeup products, some incredible kits that are lying in front of me that are received in PR and I want to recommend them to you. And part two is going to be a haul video because I did land up shopping quite a lot from the Nykaa's previous sale. However, I feel their Diwali sale has better offers, but I already ordered quite a lot. Without further ado, let's quickly dive right into this video. If you're new here, Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Do also make sure you hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram. And now let's dive right into it. The sequence that you will see in this video is as follows. First, I'm going to give you my skincare recommendations followed by my hair care recommendations. You will also see some body care recommendations. And lastly, we are going to talk about makeup. Let's quickly dive right into it because I do have a lot of product recommendations for you because I like to give you options. Let's talk about face washes. I have the Earth Rhythm Foaming Cleanser. This is their Phyto Clear. Now this is a great product for anyone who wants a gentle inclusion of salicylic acid in their skincare routine. If you're oily, acne prone skin, try this one. If you're a beginner, try this one. This has 1% salicylic acid. Moving on to toners and I'm going quickly because I don't want this video to be very, very long. I want to quickly give you my recommendations. Um, I have spoken about this quite a lot. This is a great toner a face mist this is the event thermal spring water it really calms down any sort of irritation or any sort of inflammation on the skin have been using this so so much two products from cosrx the first one is the bha power liquid again a great product for blackheads and whiteheads definitely try this if you are looking for a good effective product then i have the cosrx snail mucin advanced snail mucin 96 great product if you have a broken skin barrier enough has been spoken about this product and all of that is true all the great things about this product that is being said is absolutely true. It is a great product nonetheless. Then moving on to some moisturizers that I want to recommend to you and I'm going to get into this very quickly. I have the Claire's Midnight Calming Blue Cream which I've almost finished. I think I have one or two uh, pumps of usage left out of this. Great, great product. If you have inflamed skin, if you have a sunburn, this is really, really going to calm that down. I do want to recommend something for your nighttime skincare routine if you have inflamed skin or if you're looking for some something with ceramides. I have the minimalist ceramide 0.3% and medicasocide has been one of the in the most used um, moisturizers in the recent past. Again, about to finish this off. It's incredible again for someone with a broken skin barrier. For oily skin, looking for a good one, a moisturizer. I have the oil free from Requil. This is a moisturizer, which is great for oily skin, combination skin, lightweight texture, good product, really like it. Another one from a minimalist is the Sepi Calm 3% comes with oat extract. Again, a great product. I've reviewed this in a lot more detail. I do have something for dry skin again from minimalist. I've reviewed all of these moisturizers and I'm going to try and link all the videos right here for you. This is the Mer I dropped something, sorry about that. I have the Marula Oil 5% Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. This is a great, great product if you have dry skin. Also, the texture is really lightweight. So for my combination skin, also this sits really well. Then I'm gonna recommend an empty, completely emptied this out. This is the Bioderma Etoderm Cream. If you have irritated skin, itchy skin, if you have inflamed skin, looking for a good hydrating moisturizer, try this one. Before diving into the next category, I have two more toners for you, one exfoliating and one hydrating. For the winter season, a must-have is the Laneige Cream Toner. Incredible product. It hydrates the skin really well. If you have dry skin, try this one. If you have combination skin, try this one. My holy grail for exfoliating my skin twice a week is the Pixie Glow Tonic. 5% glycolic acid, not at all beginner friendly. You have to introduce this very slowly into your skincare routine and then build it up. If you're a beginner, go in with something that's a lot more milder than this. But if you have experienced skin with exfoliation, go in with this one. Um, I'm going to talk about serums, but I want to talk about two incredible new sunscreens that I've been testing out. One is new to me. The other one is not new. I've used this in the past. I'm talking about about the Aven Thermal um, sunscreen. Again, this is 50 SPF plus. This is their Clenens 
sunscreen. This is a great product for anyone with sensitive skin condition or if you have oily skin, you are going to love the texture. It's really lightweight um, and it doesn't leave a white cast. Really like this one. I've been using this one quite a lot. And then I've been testing out the Dr. Shet's Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen. I am going to be reviewing this very soon, but if you can take my word for it, pick this one up. Again, an incredible formula. Has an SPF of 50. It does not leave any white cast. It's also a mineral sunscreen. Of course, I'm going to come to the detail of it and review it in a lot more detail. Let's talk about some serums now and I have four serum recommendations for you all different categories I do have a retinol serum. I've spoken about this in the past as well 0.2% retinol and we have 1% peptide from the brand deconstruct talking about retinol I also have another one from Olay. I have a reordered this so whenever there is a discount because this is around 2000 But you do get this on discount for about 1500 or 1599 so I definitely pick this up and restock this. This is a formulation with niacinamide. Incredible one at that. Um, I really enjoyed using this bottle. I've finished more than half the bottle. It's a very gentle one. Then I have another one from Deconstruct. 3.3% potassium azolol diglycinide. Great for someone with acne prone skin. If you have acne like I do have a little bit of acne on my chin. I do use this in my nighttime or sometimes even in my AM routine. You can switch it up depending upon how your skin is feeling. I do really like using this about two to three times a week then I have another one from deconstruct deconstruct serums have been really doing a number with me because I really feel they are incredible um, this is their vitamin C and ferulic acid serum you have 10% vitamin C thylascorbic acid again a great product I like that the packaging is uh, tinted and it's a dark packaging talking about vitamin C serums I do have another one for you this is the Dr. Shet's Amla VC20 vitamin C serum again this is the 20% thylascorbic acid they do have a 10% as well if you're a beginner go for the 10% one if you're experienced with vitamin C 20% one is a great uh, one as well so I Either of these two vitamin C's are the ones that I tend to reach out for. I've been testing one or two more. I will come to that. Then I'm going to talk about, before jumping into the few body products that I have, I do want to recommend an eye cream. This is the Murad Vita C Dark Circle Corrector. Completely finished this off. This is one of those eye creams that is very, very expensive. But if you do find it on some sort of an offer, I highly recommend picking it up because this was probably one of the very few eye creams that did show me results on my dark circles. Let's move on to body products now. One last product before jumping into body products. I know I'm going in very quickly, but I've reviewed most of these products in some or the other of my videos. So please do check out those videos. Um, I have the Dermaco 2% salicylic acid face mask. Now, what is this? This is basically a charcoal mask. You have 2% salicylic acid in it. If you are someone who has blackheads, whiteheads, or if you want a deep cleansing of your pores, you have oily acne prone skin. This is great. I love using this at least once a week to deep cleanse my pores. Then I have a few body products. So Gandha, first of all, has been a brand that has been coming up with some incredible body products. I do want to talk about their 2% salicylic acid body spray. Definitely a gentle formulation, but you do see results. You have to wait a little bit. These products don't work overnight. You will have to give them about three to four weeks, sometimes even five to six weeks for these kind of products to work. So if you have bumps on your arms, like I do have a few, if you can see, then I use this because I have a little bit of a sensitivity to sun on my arms and on my back but I do use sunscreen but I use this about three to four times a week this is a great product then I have a body wash from Suganda. This is their 5% lactic acid. You do have panthenol here. It has been formulated really well. This is definitely a product. If you are someone who has keratosis pilaris, if you are someone who wants to uh, exfoliate your body, you want to do, you don't want to use physical exfoliation, you want to use chemical form of exfoliation, then this is something you can definitely look at. Um, I do also have their vitamin C body lotion. This is a great product for anyone who has a tan, if you have hyperpigmentation, because this is for formulated with vitamin C. You also have curcumin here. It is a great overall evening out body lotion. It is very hydrating as well. A couple of other products that I really, really like, and I have restocked these, in fact, is the Wanderlust Mediterranean Sea Salt from Nika. I should have shown this in my haul video, but nonetheless, these are the recommendations as well. Used completely emptied out both of these. I love the fragrance of this one. And then I have the Wanderlust Mediterranean Sea Salt 
body lotion as well. So this one is very, very lightweight, perfect for the summer season. Of course, with winters, you need something more hydrating, but these two work really well together. This has a very nice, very mild sort of a fragrance. I do also want to recommend a product from Bath & Body Works. I really like their Sweet Pea uh, Body Mist. I love fragrances. I love perfumes. I like body mists. And this one is a great one as well. Okay, now let's talk about hair care products. I have three hair care products for you that I am completely obsessed with right now. I do want to talk about these. This is the Vela Elements Renewing Shampoo. Now, this is a shampoo which is sulfate-free, very, very gentle on the scalp. I love that this uh, cleanses the scalp really well. Even though it's a sulfate-free formula, it lathers really well. Great, great product. If you find it on discount, please do pick it up. It's an incredible product. I really like this. It doesn't strip out the length of your hair as well, but cleanses your scalp really well. What else do we need? That's what we need <laughs> so the next one is the l'oreal absolute uh, repair protein plus gold quinoa shampoo i absolutely love their uh, hair mask if you've seen my shorts video i've mentioned that one a few times it's very very hydrating and that's my third product recommendation but first i'm going to talk about this the shampoo is great as well very creamy lathers really well and it really really uh, cleanses the scalp really well it's not a very stripping formula as well so your hair doesn't feel dry or frizzy after you washed the hair then i have the same um, category of hair mask as well this is of course the absolute repair with gold canoa this is such a hydrating hair mask i have used one full tub of this this is the second one almost about 50 percent over love this how this hydrates the length of your hair it really nourishes the length of my hair i love using this earlier i was using once in 10 days but now my hair are really really frizzy for some reason so i'm using this um, every week so once a week i have to go in with the hair spa like this and i really like to massage this into the length of my hair definitely try this before jumping into the makeup category i want to recommend a perfume so i have been really liking the kayali perfumes i did receive one in pr i bought one and i received another one in pr and this is so beautiful this is the kayali Eden Juicy Apple. If you are someone who likes fruity floral fragrances, you would love this. It has such an incredible fragrance. The great thing about these perfumes are they are very, very long lasting. If you do find them on some sort of an offer or a discount, do pick them up. I know they are on the higher end of things. I'm a sucker for perfumes, so I do uh, have a collection. I love key to keep building on that collection. This one. Oh my god, just the outer body of the bottle smells so good. Uh, imagine what the perfume itself must smell like. So this is something I wanted to recommend to you because I totally loved this. I have two foundation recommendations for you. The first one is the Clinique Even Better Makeup. I love wearing this. I'm wearing this so much these days. I'm in the shade WN46. Um, this is a perfect match for me love this foundation so lightweight it is breathable on the skin i wear this so much almost in most of my videos i'm wearing this today however i'm wearing the l'oreal infallible 24 hour matte cover this comes with an spf 20 uh, but that doesn't mean you don't wear your spf you of course have to wear your spf now this one is a full coverage foundation if you want full coverage i have to go to an event today after filming this that's why i'm wearing this one if you want a light breathable everyday kind of a coverage going with this also this is great for someone with sensitive skin condition or if you get burning sensation with any other uh, makeup product like a foundation or a bb cream love both of these then i have two base makeup recommendations for you i have two primers here essentially first one is the plum prep set go face primer this is a great silicone primer it makes your makeup long lasting if you are someone who has oily skin and you feel that your uh, makeup looks cakey after a while or your foundation tends to break down something like this can really help the second one is something that all of you recommended and i bought this and really enjoying this this is the color bar primer again this is the same concept it's a silicone primer to make your foundation long lasting I want to keep all the lipsticks for last so i want to recommend some eyeshadow palettes that i have in front of me i want to recommend some blushes and also some concealers and an eyeliner so the eyeliner that i have is the color bar black that's what i'm wearing it's intense it's matte it's affordable great product two concealers that i have been using so much of the l'oreal infallible what an incredible concealer with such a great coverage and the second one is the clinique even better so the clinique even better makeup range is something that i'm really 
really, really enjoying. At least their base makeup, which is the concealer and the foundation, totally in love with both of these. So in, in uh, Clinique, my shade is A30, I guess. This is CN52 Neutral, and this one is 312 Amber. Moving on to blush recommendations, I have two blushes here for you. Uh, both of these are high-end blushes. They are expensive, but if you do find them on discount, please do pick these up. If you like cream blushes, nothing like the bobby brown blush first i want to show you the color look at that it is such a beautiful dusty rose kind of a color that's what i'm wearing and it's incredible for even deep skin tones um if you like something which is a lot more like a soft blush but it gives you a beautiful finish i have the mini here from glowish from uh, which is the huda beauty brand this is in the shade uh, 02 caring coral if you like powder blushes but you like a soft flush of color go in with this one the shade for bobby brown is um pot rouge for lip and cheek powder pink six Okay, I felt like applying a little bit of the glowish on top of my blush because I just wanted to add that extra flush of color because why not? Oh my God, look at that. It's so gorgeous. And it settled uh, down after a while like it doesn't feel in your face in any way. If you like a light flush of color, go in for this. Coming down to eyeshadows, Inaika has come up with some incredible eyeshadow palettes. I have these minis, these quads, which are great to travel with. They have great pigmentation as well and uh, I love how beautifully they blend. I have the Nika Eye Color Palette 01 and 03. Both of these are very versatile. You can make a smoky eye look with this and a brown smoky eye look with this. A black one with this and a brown one with this. Then I have the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I feel Huda Beauty makes some of the most incredible eyeshadow palettes. I do have the Wild Python uh, which is an incredible eyeshadow palette if you like a lot of greens, if you like a lot of peaches. You do have this beautiful turk here, browns, gold. Again, something that I love traveling with. You can make some incredible eyeliner looks as well with this one. I do also have their chameleon here, which is again a very, very gorgeous eyeshadow palette. This is a brown party right here. This is such a beautiful, festive kind of an eyeshadow palette. I have swatched the glitter shades here for you i love how pigmented these are and of course you know you can see the duochrome at least in this one uh, this one right here i love that their palettes are extremely pigmented they come in a very travel friendly format you do also have a mirror right here everything in one place now let's talk about a few kits that I received in PR and I do want to recommend a few to you. So Max sent me all the three uh, kits, their collaboration with Bumi Pednaker and I really like the strobe cream and the uh, uh, Ruby Woo one. So Ruby Woo is the cult favorite red lipstick and you do have the strobe cream. This I feel is definitely a must pick up because both of these are two incredible products like their best products from mac this is what i feel the other two kits are also really nice in case you want uh, to pick these up because uh, their single lipstick is around 1750 1800 rupees but if you do get them in a hamper you really do land up saving um, a lot of money i have another kit which is called the lipstick trio so you have three lipsticks here uh, we have All Fired Up, uh, D for Danger and Mocha. All three you get in one kit, which is great. Last kit is their eyeliner duo and you have a MAC Meher lipstick. Now, if I were to pick up, I would definitely pick up the first two kits. They are great gifts for your friends and family. And uh, otherwise also, in a kit, they, like I said, land up costing a lot less. Before moving on to lipstick recommendations, I do have another kit from Bobbi Brown. Highly, highly recommend this because this is such a steal. You do get two of their crushed lip uh, glosses and you do have a mini lipstick the mini lipstick is in the shade cranberry and the glosses new romantic is one of my favorites uh, both of these are this is a slightly darker pink this is a slightly lighter pink i've used both of these shades incredible and great for indian skin now let's move on to lipsticks. The one that I'm wearing is the one that I want to start with. This is the Smashbox Driver's Seat. What a beautiful nude peachy shade. Absolutely love this. I've been wearing this so much since the time I got my hands on this. Very, very comfortable, I would say. I have used a lot of other Smashbox lipsticks. This is an incredible shade, I feel. Something that I personally see myself wearing quite a lot. Then I want to talk about a few lipsticks that are very, very comfortable on the lips. They don't feel drying in any way and they are from the brand plume 
Um, I have the shade Flirtist, I have Kinda Famous, I have uh, Looker and Blush Babe. Now I do have a few pinks here, a few reds. Let me quickly swatch these for you. So Blush Babe is a very nice pink color. This is great for the festive season. So it is um, a beautiful pink I feel that will go on a lot of different Indian skin tones. Let me swatch Looker which is a lot more pinker, has a slightly... I would say mauve undertone to it. This is again great. On screen it looks a little bit red but it actually has a mauve undertone to it. If you see, I'm going to swatch the red which is Flirtist. Love, love this red shade. Very beautiful for Indian skin and these sit absolutely matte. Uh, they are fairly long lasting and they are a beautiful non-drying formula. My next one is kind of famous which is my favorite shade because it's a nude. And you guys know how much I love nude lipsticks. It's this one right here. I wanted to include a few red lipstick recommendations because it's the festive season. I have two incredible reds, very affordable from the brand Nykaa. I have Boss Babe and Cool Cop. Boss Babe is a slightly maroonish red. Let me swatch it right here for you. Slightly maroonish, pinkish red. That's what you see here. And uh, the other one is Cool Cop. Cool Cop is a tomato red color. Like it is a gorgeous, beautiful shade in my opinion. Um, if you like nice reds, these are the two I can highly recommend. And then I have another red from Maybelline, which I'm loving so much. It's not a transfer resistant formula, but it is super matte and it looks so good on the skin. Glides on like butter it's such a buttery lipstick and i love the beautiful red shade i don't know if you can see this this one right here uh, the shade i have here is called uh, more ruby uh, the name reminds me of ruby woo but it's not ruby woo at all uh, it is different another red i have is in a slightly demi matte formula from huda beauty this is called Boy Collector. Loved wearing this one as well. It's a beautiful pop of color. Feels very comfortable on the lips. Has a minty feel on the lips when you wear these. But um, if you like something with a bit of a gloss, try this. Then I have a few lipsticks from Plum. Plum has been doing an incredible job with the lipsticks. Some new launches and uh, some that I have been loving. 130 Coco Moco is Cocoa Mocoa is the matte in heaven liquid lipstick. This is a beautiful brown shade and it is perfect for Indian skin. I also like their doe foot applicator. Really, really nice. Uh, these lipsticks are a bit too matte. They are fairly comfortable to wear, but they uh, do sit extremely matte. So if you are like me, if you like very matte lipsticks you would love these then I also want to swatch this beautiful nude shade right here look at that this lip crayon is also very very matte by the way and the shade that I have here is 128 crimson side I also have Plum's Bullet Lipsticks, amazing formula. I do have the Plush Hour here, which I'm going to swatch for you. Again, this is a great nude shade. You can expect a lot of nudes coming from me. Of course, this is a very, very comfortable to wear formula. It's a pink nude. I love how these sit on the lips. They are not transfer resistant, but they do feel extremely comfortable to wear. I am going to swatch on my palm now because I'm running out of space. This shade is a beautiful, uh, it's like a mauve pink, like a brown pink with a slight undertone actually there's no mauve here it's actually a brown uh, lipstick brown pink lipstick I would say and the shade here is jazz berry it doesn't look like berry though but it does look beautiful when you wear it then I have a peach uh, shade this is called peach please again this is one of my favorite shades because I love peachy lipsticks with a slight slight brown undertone uh, one of the other shades from them is called Pull Me Rosa 121. This is such a gorgeous shade. Look at that. Look at that shade. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. Absolutely love these lipsticks and the way they sit on the lips. Moving on to the last few lipsticks and these are from K-Beauty. I have Teaser, Dialogue and Rehearsal. I have recommended these earlier as well. I love how creamy these are. Uh, I am quickly going to swatch these with whatever space I've left, wherever. This is a beautiful, again, this is a pinky mauve kind of a shade. If you like cr the creamy formula in lipsticks, you would love these K-Beauty lipsticks. Then I have the shade Teaser, which is a beautiful 
pink. If you like a nice bright pink or if you want a beautiful pink for the festive season, go in with this one. And then lastly, I have a gorgeous, gorgeous chocolate brown. This is called Dialogue. I am going to swatch it right here. This is one of the favorite browns I have. Like this is literally... Uh, the kind of brown that I like to wear on my skin because this really pops and looks absolutely gorgeous. Lastly, I have a mascara recommendation for you, the MAC Stack Mascara. Really enjoying using this. It's not flaky, doesn't flake. It feels comfortable after you've worn it and it really adds a lot of volume. So guys, with that, it's a wrap. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Of course, all the links will be mentioned in the description for your convenience. I really hope that you will be able to pick out some products out of this video for yourself. Have an incredible festive season ahead. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until I see you next, take good care of yourselves. Lots of love. Bye-bye.